it. You want to fry up all the some of the bluegills I caught a couple days ago. My favorite is just the original shore launch with no beer or milk or anything like that. There's all the bluegills that we caught. I'm not going to do them all today. There's probably 50 or 60 fish in there. But I let them soak them in salt water for one day and just change the water out for three or four days and keep ice on top of the cold water. And they turn out good. The reason I use Shore Lunch original is I don't like to take away the flavor of the bluegill by putting anything else in with it. You gotta let the get up to 350 degrees and fry it. And the fun begins. I just take them, turn the water on, just take it away, rinse it off a little bit. It's fine. Put it in there. Just coat it a little bit. Stack them up and get them ready. That's all I do. These are all filleted. Boned out. No bones in them. All the white meat. The other white meat. Big old bluegill fillets. Bandy gills. I'm do a whole bunch of them. Alright, we're at the fry stage here. I don't like to overload the yow. My baby's hot. Oh, we're like overload the deep fryer. That's a cast iron lodge deep fryer. I can't buy them anymore, but I really like using them. Some people don't, but I do. And just lay them in there. I'm using peanut oil. And I might not use that anymore because it's just 18 bucks a gallon now. Nothing at it, but the original 
sore ones, which to me is the best powder on the market. Like blazed potato chips, can't eat just one. Mmm. So, maybe everybody wanted to come to fish fry that lived out of state, so they want to come over for a fish fry. Well, I'm waiting for you. Better hurry up. I'm gonna eat them. There's my next batch. Oil's getting back up to temperature. Go ahead and finish some of these off. You can catch and release all the bass you want, but they'll try catch and keep them bluegill. They're delicious.